Okay, so there's this topic of how to build transparency in acting. Now, look, there is incredible amounts of, of details that are, are, are really kind of uh, rather important because transparency is evidence that your talent and you as an actor are open so that when you feel something, it's able to be seen directly and the audience is able to see it. Now, whether that be in a theater or whether that be on a soundstage for film, it, it, it's still transparency. Now, what will actually happen when you develop yourself so that you've got these things that are open, open up inside of yourself as an, as an actor, as an artist, a lot of times, you will have, uh, at least um, I've seen this in, in several cases and uh, I've experienced sometimes this as well, where you will literally have the transparency of like literally, when you see it, when you think it, when you feel it, all of a sudden it shows. Now this is something that's talent. This is actually something that's skill. And this is something that has an incredible amount of envy around it in the acting field. You won't even know what it is that the people are jealous about, about your work. Because they'll be, well, you know, uh, they, I remember one person yelling at me one time saying that, well, uh, it's very easy for you to carry your emotions on your sleeve. And I said, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean by that? I didn't even know what they were talking about. It took me quite a lot of work to be able to figure out what they were even trying to imply. And it wasn't that I was stupid to them, it was that I was like, didn't have any idea. I had no idea about this thing called transparency. There are these programs that I use, and I use these programs to do these things like cartoons, to be able to accentuate, to, to, ex, to absolutely um, amplify the emotions that I go through. And when I go through emotions, first of all, I absolutely emotionally prepare, sometimes even before the videos, because I, I love emotional preparation. I love to be able to get myself upset about one thing, get myself upset about another, and then put that into some imaginary work. And these cartoons, there's links in the descriptions below, and they can absolutely, they can amplify those expressions that you can learn to be able to get with your talent. Okay, so feel free, use those links. Transparency is that layer of like observation. So like, you'll like be in a situation after doing this work for a while, and it could even be just even six months. And all of a sudden you'll start changing, and all of a sudden you'll start noticing people, and you'll start noticing things that people don't wanna see in life. Well, that's part of you being able to, and actually being in a situation where now you're becoming an artist. You're becoming an artist and, and you haven't maybe yet learned how to be able to kind of like not blurt out the fact that, you know, uh, somebody is going through a certain feeling or emotion or maybe you just haven't figured out the knack of being able to do that yet in life. So what's key is that when you're able to be able to, to work with these, with these skills, you're able to open yourself up so that what's inside of yourself is actually being able to be seen, right? So this is key. This is almost like the essence of what is talent. This is the element of, of not uh, hiding. It's the element of literally having that connection with the audience, having that connection of transparency. This is one of the most sought after elements of acting in terms of talent, in terms of spontaneity in terms of um, the ability to um, have an immediate give and take. See, you know that they, they might want you in the scene because they want you to be able to have that, that reflection, that ability of transparency. And you will find that there will be sometimes people that aren't quite as transparent, um, possibly, or they're working on their spontaneity. And this is part of the reason why I'm absolutely determined whenever I act is I absolutely want to be in a situation that's supporting the other actor. 
Now, if I'm helping to support the other actor, it doesn't mean that I'm, that I'm, uh, it, it, it will actually end up helping both them and I. And the thing is, is that it's much better that way to be able to have the attitude where you're like actually fully invested in the other person, where you're actually interested in the other person. And this is part of the reason why I think I have a video on the uh, thing having to do with vulnerability how to be able to get that vulnerability offset it in you so that all of a sudden you have this transparency to the camera. See, you, you work in a way that when you feel it, you're there, and when you're alert, you're alert. And this is actually a piece of talent. This is a piece of your ability to be an actor. This is the reason why you might want to go and work on exercise after exercise. Or you might want to, like I have, I've seen over 30,000 acting exercises. Well, what was I studying? I was studying all kinds of things. And part of what I was studying was the ability for the actors to be able to be receiving, the ability for the actors to be able to have like spontaneity, the ability for the actors to have emotional preparation. See, when you're working with emotional preparation with transparency, You've got this incredible, credible, credible opportunity. See, whatever you've emotionally prepared on, whatever you've been able to emotionally activate, right? Activation is key. Acting is activation. Acting is activation, which happens on the being side of the acting. It's the being work of emotional preparation. It's the being work of um, personal reflection. And then you do the whole point of being able to activate your emotion. Hi, I'm inviting you to actually join me live on the internet. And uh, if you would, you can bring your own emotional preparation. We can work on emotional preparation together and we can really hone down and help build out that talent with inside of you. Now, even if all it is is you want to just bring an emotional preparation do a spoon river, I don't mind. Come, join us, and absolutely practice the talent of your own acting. So you activate that emotion, activate that emotion, and then you enter into the unknown, not fully known about circumstances of the imaginary world. You enter in to the to imaginary world. Okay, you're there, you've got and brought with you whatever that has been part of your emotional preparation. And then you work to receive. Now your job and your working ethic is the ability to receive the other person. That's what I mean. You want to support the other actor. You want to be able to receive the other person and receive the other person, keep receiving the other person. If they make you feel terrible about yourself, okay? They didn't feel terrible about yourself. If, if, you're, if, if they make you, um, want to vomit out some some emotion then you vomit out the emotion say look uh, you know work work with it so that whatever's an ability of discovery you're able and open to have that discovery see this is what talent is and this is why there's such weird things about jealousy in the industry because it's not necessarily that the people are jealous it's not that they're really jealous it's just that they don't have the ability to be able or they don't know the skill that I'm describing that you can actually learn that's called how to build transparency in acting. See, it might take you, I don't know, 10, 15 exercises to get a small piece of this or you might be able to kind of luck out and get a little bit larger piece. It might take you 150 exercises to be able to start getting in the habit of being able to one spark the emotion so you're sparking something that's that's an emotion and then you're entering into the imaginary world the imaginary world you know things about obviously but there's things that you don't know about what's going to happen when you get there when you're in it you can't know the result even if it's scripted so when you're working with scripted content that's fine you still work with the ability of discovering what it is that the moment's going to be. You don't know, you live it in real time. So you're working with this construct of being able to work with muscles, 
within yourself that are able to then be able to work and give you that transparency. When I feel it, it's gonna show. That's good. That's a good thing. On another note, a very similar note about transparency. I have seen, absolutely, with my own eyes, several times, many times actually, where there have been people that have achieved that kind of, of transparency in their acting. When they feel it, it shows their ability to be able to interact, their sensitivity. They have this sensitivity about them. Often what happens, and this is the reason why I'm making this, this thing, to make sure people know. This is the reason I have seen many different people shy back and think that that's not part of acting. That they, that they shy back and think that the transparency is not part of acting. No, no, transparency is the talent. Transparency is the sought after component of acting. It's key, absolutely key. Look, there's a lot of things to remember in acting. And a lot of times people go, well, did they do something wrong? No, they didn't do anything wrong. They're literally working in their acting right? They're literally in a situation. They're literally experiencing in real time without knowing exactly what's going to happen and what they feel and what they think and what they receive. The audience can actually see them processing. This is talent. This is what you want to do. This is what you actually want to have. And a lot of times people will find their own talent and they won't have enough um, support systems in place to be able to be able to realize, oh, that's the talent. That's the thing that, that, that actually is the result of being able to do uh, all these different exercises and be able to study or be able to be involved in acting so much. This is the result of being able to be able to, to access your ability. And this is key, why it's important to look at those emotions lists and lists of um, over 900 independent activities that I have on the website. You want to be able to sit down and be able to say, look, this is the emotion. If you work with the emotion, then you say, you know what? I have a memory of something that activates me with that emotion. I have um, a feeling or something that's deep feeling about um, uh, that emotion. I know how to work with this emotion. See, we're getting into the habit of being able to work, being able to activate emotion, put ourselves in a place where we're completely building up this thing called transparency, which is talent, and that we're able to be able to get comfortable with being able to, able to experience something new. So look, boop the like button on this one if you would, and um, let me know what you need to learn and, and study and what questions you have and what it is that I could clarify for you. And I'm not looking for anybody to just say, oh, this is his opinion, I'll just take it. No, I want everybody to be able to form their own opinion about how to be able to find their own technique. We, are all, we all have our own talent and our own ability to be able to access it. And there's, and there's techniques that each of us are able to be able to adjust within ourselves to be able to find our own talent. Okay? Until next time. Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally, purposefully upset themselves. Actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it's, it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life. So feel free. Work on processes where you have a release time after you're doing your acting.
And what this will do is it will actually amplify your work because it will give your acting muscles the break that they need in order to get the rest that they need so that your work will be even stronger. Okay, thanks very much.